Good morning, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 7529 Mulholland Drive in uh, Los Angeles area. And I'm in the process of performing a video examination of the main sewer line here on the property. Now the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior of the structure. Our examination today not focused on the building drain line system. So if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I'm currently sitting, if you look at the bottom right corner of your screen here, 117 feet from a three inch clean out I found on the front of the structure near the right front corner and uh, pushed through quite a bit of piping to get to this point and we're right down uh, near the base of the wall down by the street. Unfortunately with all the turns I had to go around we're uh, hitting a blockage here that uh, I'm not going to be able to punch the camera through. You'll see here just all these turns of camera it doesn't want to move too well. Now uh, what we're looking at is some pretty significant root intrusion on this lower end. Uh, we're in a vitrified clay piping, and uh, root intrusion in these clay pipes is fairly common, but uh, it's a situation where we are suggesting that they would need to be maintained on a regular basis to help minimize the potential for blockages and or damage to the pipe. Now the access we currently have is not really sufficient to effectively clean this section of the line. It's too far, there's too many turns, so I'm going to mark out down by the uh, lower driveway. Uh, exactly where this line is. And you'll see here what we do is we make a short vertical drop and we're coming up. Essentially this is a vertical here. And when we get to the top here we've got this fitting that has the opening that uh, probably could be exposed and extended up to the surface and be utilized as a clean out pipe itself is about two feet deep over here, so it's not a very significant excavation to get to that. But there is asphalt. So what we're going to do is we're going to examine back up to the structure from this location, but unfortunately that does leave us a uh, good section of 30 or 40 feet of pipe that we can't see today. Now the criteria for main sewer line cleanouts on a main sewer line is every 100 feet of pipe uh, at the upper end of each branch of the system or after 135 degrees of bend or turn. Well, we're definitely far exceeded those criteria. Now I've got a couple of sections like what we're looking at here where there's a little bit of a shift in the pipe, a good uh, inch or so. Now there's no evidence that this shift has been compromised or the coupling that holds these pipe sections together has been compromised, but it's something to definitely want to monitor uh, luckily, the new clean-out access that we're talking about is down beyond these two spots, and there's really nothing to speak of of roots back through the rest of this line. Now, these clay piping materials, they were expected to have a long service life. Being a natural material, they're not expected to deteriorate underground, but they are more brittle in nature and do have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. Now the clean out we're using here is near the right side of the structure. I've got water running in the kitchen that's over on the left side of the structure. And we're going to be looking for any possible uh, second lines here. this line does is it comes out and it kind of wraps around the pool. And it looks like it runs under the walkway there. Here's the second area that I was talking about, which shifted some.
that coming back up to the structure now. So the good news is that it does seem that we do have just a single line. And there's the original main clean out right there. But uh, for monitoring purposes, this clean out will be sufficient. But uh, I'm going to recommend that clean out down below so that that lower section can be cleaned and then examined. All right, so uh, pull the camera out real quick to show you where this clean out is located. Right here, just next to this downspout for the roof drainage. Our pool area is behind us. There's our uh, sleeping area, front windows, and just down to the right of that is this clean out with this uh, cap right here. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination for today. The written report, which will accompany this video, will describe the final findings and recommendations for today's evaluation, which, again, are going to include the installation of a clean-out down below and a thorough cleaning of that section for a follow-up examination. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.